What's up, guys? Welcome back to Mike's Universe. So today we're going to talk about the very first season of She-Ra and the Princess of Powers. I can honestly say season 1 was not a disappointment, although many people believed it would be. As described in the trailer, Adora is a chosen girl who, when she has her sword, can transform into an almighty powerful princess called She-Ra. Although Adora was taught to hate princesses, she actually changes her belief after finding out what the Horde, who she formerly used to fight with, has done. They were terrorizing innocent people. Her along with Glimmer and Bo go on these crazy adventures trying to restore the Princess Alliance, formerly made by Glimmer's mother, Queen Angela, which she ended once her husband died in the fight against Horde. During her adventure, Adora realized that Catra, despite the many times where she appears to be, is not her real friend. Catra actually befriends a new person, Princess Scorpia, who helps her take down Shadow Weaver. It was confirmed that Shadow Weaver was Light Spinner, a princess from Mr. Core who went into the Horde in search of more power. Shadow Weaver knew Adora was She-Ra and tried to pursue her so much she got removed from her position. During a rescue mission, Princess Entraptor runs too slow behind and is believed to be dead when her friends see a huge fire and the doors closing shut. This caused another end to the Princess Alliance. Catra Scorpia along with Princess Entraptor became stranded on the Horde and decided to stay because she thought the other princess forgot about her. Which is a lie. It was all Catra filling her head with lies. Princess Entraptor continues to pursue First One's text and tries to use it against the princesses, which is believed to be the most powerful tech. The season ends with all princesses coming together and stopping that from happening and the alliance forms again. The se season 1 was a really good season. As far as sticking to the original show, I'm not really sure because I've never seen it, but one thing I think all the fans on the show can agree on is that She-Ra's sword would magically disappear in one scene and then magically reappear in the other. Now this did strike my heart a couple of times because I did think that she left it behind, but it was with her the entire time. Well guys, that's all for today. What do you guys think? Is this new reboot a good show? How do you guys feel about She-Ra's missing sword? Comment your thoughts below. If you're new here and enjoying our content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And click that bell notification to stay tuned into our universe. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Yeah.